Hello everybody, welcome to Nostalgia News Network. Today, I, the host, am giving out 14 fun facts about Corpse Bride. Ready? <laughs> I thought so. Let's begin. Number 1. The film was distributed by Warner Brothers and was released in the United States on September 23rd, 2005. It was also directed by Tim Burton, known for his goth culture in films, and Mike Johnson, known for his work on stop-motion films. Number 2. The budget of the film was an estimated $40 million, and its gross in the US and Canada was $53 million, and it made a total of $118 million worldwide, which isn't much, but keep in mind, this film is animated in stop motion, and films made in stop motion animation don't make that much at the box office. Number 3. The film uses a unique style of stop motion. Unlike most stop motion animated films, which use replaceable heads or mouths, the animators used clockwork heads that could be adjusted by hidden keys, but this was a very painful task. In fact, one animator who worked on the film claimed to have nightmares where he adjusted his own facial expressions like the puppets. But putting that aside, the puppets used in the film were 9 to 11 inches tall, and some of the stages were so huge, the animators could actually fit through the doors with very little crouching. Number 4. Multiple puppets of the characters had to be created so that more scenes could be accomplished in a shorter period of time. In total, 14 puppets of Victor and Emily were created, and 13 puppets were created of Victoria. Also, the puppets were made from stainless steel armatures and were covered with silicone skin. Number 5. During the beginning of the film, where Victor plays the piano, when he leans back, you can see the piano is engraved with a nameplate that says Harryhausen. This of course being a reference to Ray Harryhausen, who is known for his stop motion technique. Number 6. The film has quite a few similarities to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Both films of course came out in 2005, and both were distributed by Warner Brothers. But also, both films were directed by Tim Burton, and feature roles by Johnny Depp, who played Willy Wonka and Victor. I, I do apologize, Miss Everglot. How rude of me to... well... Elena Bonham Carter, who played Charlie's mother and Emily. Woman. <laughs> Deep Roy, who played every Oompa Loompa and Napoleon Bones apart. I think you mean answers. Thank you, yes. And Christopher Lee, who played Willy Wonka's father and Pastor Galswells. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. Not to mention, both films were composed by Danny Elfman. Number 7. The character of Mr. Bone Jangles and his skeletal band are based on Cab Calloway and his band, who were rotoscoped in Betty Boop cartoons from the 1920s. The piano playing skeleton wears shades, similarly to Ray Charles, and has similar movements. And even Mr. Bone Jangles' name is a play on African American dancer Bill Robinson's stage name, Mr. Bojangles. Number 8. One of Tim Burton's trademarks in his animated films is a dead dog. This happens in The Nightmare Before Christmas and Frankenweenie. And here, there is no exception. Victor is reunited with his deceased and now skeletal dog named Scraps. Scraps? Scraps! My dog Scraps! <laughs> oh, Scraps, what a good boy. In fact, if you look closely, a picture of a young Victor with a living version of Scraps can be seen at the beginning of the film. Number 9. Danny Elfman originally wrote the part of Mr. Bone Jangles for another musician to sing it, but unfortunately, he couldn't find a voice that fit. So director Tim Burton asked Elfman if he could sing the parts. Let's be honest, he did a fine job. Give me a listen, you corpses of cheer, least those of you, we still got an ear. However, the voice of that character was so harsh on his vocal cords that Elfman was left hoarse whenever he had to voice him. Number 10. The voice, mannerisms, and facial appearance of the maggot in the film are an impersonation of horror icon Peter Lorre. What does that wispy little brat have that you don't have to- Number 11. Joe Ranft was an executive producer on this film. Unfortunately, he died in a car accident before the film was released. So Corpse Bride, as well as Disney Pixar's Cars, released a year later, are both dedicated to his memory. Number 12. The film was actually based on a 19th century Russian Jewish folktale. Joe Ranft introduced the story to Tim Burton in 1993 when they were finishing The Nightmare Before Christmas. The film began production on November of 2003 and was officially announced a year earlier in 2002. Number 13. 
Several actors were chosen for different roles in Corpse Bride before settling on the ones used in the final film. Jim Carrey and Angelina Jolie were considered for the roles of Victor and Emily. In addition, before Richard E. Grant was chosen for the role of Barkus, Alan Rickman and Kevin Spacey were considered. Number 14. The film, along with Howl's Moving Castle, were one of the nominees at the 78th Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature, but both lost to Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Weir Rabbit, which also features Elena Bonham Carter in a leading role. Did you enjoy the video? Well then, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, follow the official Nostalgia News Network Facebook page and the TikTok where clips from nostalgic movies and TV shows are uploaded. Links will be in the description. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Nostalgia News Network, and I'll see you all next time.